morning and welcome to another episode of the Candid Talk here on Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Evans Okinya. I'm glad that you're here with us. I'm here uh, with Professor Herman Manyora. Definitely we want to look at a number of issues or rather a raft of issues that are currently taking place in this country. And of course, Prof will help me uh, dissect some of them. Prof, how are you? Wonderful. Welcome to the show. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How is everything? So far so good. So far so good. How is your... Someone on Kenya is too good to go down. Yeah, yeah. You seeing it here? We are clinging on that. Uh huh. Yes. And definitely, our country is here to stay. Yes. The president yesterday, or rather, the day was uh, attended a church service, of course, as usual, and uh, he made a lot of statements. But what actually uh, captured my eyes that after he left the church, of course, he had that chance to address um, a number of people outside there and that kind of public uh, rally that he had there with the people talking one on one. And uh, I looked at him and listened to him kindly. He was in his normal, typical. Uh, president, of course, speaking to the people and uh, still castigating the Azimio side, telling them that uh, we won't solve this problem, stop threatening of you people going back to demonstrations, they won't help. Those kind of terms, and I'm uh, now questioning, uh, it got me thinking anyway. What do you make of those words by the president, owing to the fact that we're here, the talks are supposed to begin? and already is talking the way he's talking. Is he supposed to be minding his words right now? Or is he supposed to be somehow presidential? My position is very clear. Mm -hmm. This country is too good to go now. Mm -hmm. And these demonstrations can bring down the country. Okay. And therefore, I'm happy that we are in the process of talking mm -hmm. as a country. However, I get very disturbed. When I hear the president talking, the man is talking, the mm -hmm. president and the deputy, I would understand when these other young people talk. But the president... His word is very important. The president knows very well that whenever there is ceasefire, when there's people have been at war and they have declared a ceasefire so that they may have to discuss, what the general says is very important. Mm -hmm. During ceasefire, throughout, you can see. What you say is very important. Mm -hmm. yeah. The goodwill is very important. Okay. Uh, I am not a very happy man because I think... There are still many people, I, the president included, I think, who think this thing is a small matter. Hmm. Yeah. So the president spoke, as he said, but on the other end, the Azimio uh, uh, Brigade are also talking and, of course, throwing a lot of jabs. This is a side I had at the time. Uh, certain members of parliament allied to the Azimio One Kenya coalition, actually, uh, saying that the president is dishonest and, uh, and um, is kind of taking them for a ride so they are talking on the other side do you think then that's also not would, good it would be prudent for a the member of parliament should not do, use words like it is honest to in reference to the president mm -hmm. not when we are talking mm -hmm. everybody must guard what they say and, and how they say it mm -hmm. we need this peace more than anything else yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we cannot afford to go the way we were going okay but sometimes i get somewhere i get I get disillusioned. I say, okay, fine. If people want it, let it happen. I pray so hard. But as a, you know, I'm just a human being. Even Jesus was one day in the synagogue. You could call it a church if you wish. And he kenned people. He got annoyed. And he said, you can get annoyed. You can get annoyed. When you see these things happen, you wonder, do these people know how close we are to disaster? to anarchy. Mm -hmm. I think this way. Now I'm, I'm really wondering because those who are saying or rather describing the president as dishonest say that if at all he does not actually uh, yield to their demands then definitely they are going back to the streets. And of course you've been here saying that we cannot actually afford to go back there. But then seeing how things are uh, uh, happening right now, do you see any progress or do you see any progress or anything that perhaps could show that we are headed the right direction in as far as we yeah, want yeah. To address the ceasefire is good enough <laughs> when that Monday didn't happen that was good enough and the fact that the two sides are talking and they have had a meeting mm -hmm. you could call it informal they're having another one I think this week again mm -hmm. informal mm -hmm. that's progress and that's good enough mm -hmm. when the train is moving and you are doing things that could derail it. Mm -hmm. That's bad. So leaders must guard what they say. Yeah. And but otherwise we are moving. Mm -hmm. The important thing is that the train is moving. Yeah. 
we, 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 are, yet, we are yet to see whether uh, these talks will actually uh, involve non-members of parliament or it will uh, definitely stick to uh, the parliament as uh, the president uh, alluded back then. We are also yet to see whether um, it will yield any fruit. But then here we are. What then do you make of uh, the statements by uh, the um, Speaker of the National Assembly actually regarding these talks? And he said that he has agreed to uh, act as a mediator between uh, these groups here. You've got the Azimio side, then you've got the, the those in government. Uh, and uh, um, Speaker Moses Wetangula said that he is willing to come in between and negotiate as a, a neutral party. So in the first place, uh, is he neutral? Or rather, just tell me what you make of uh, uh, the uh, Speaker. Wetangula is not neutral. Uh -huh. And that's why he squandered the challenge. When I told him, you are doing what is wrong. When you do what is wrong, mm -hmm. it will soon catch up with you. At a time like this, you'll be, play, you'll be playing that important role. Mm -hmm. But because he already took sides badly, mm -hmm. he's tainted his name. Now, who would trust him as a mediator? Mm -hmm. Mediator is a person trusted. Moses Wetangula cannot be trusted by the other side, mm -hmm. by his own action. Yeah. So he's, 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 don't, you think, don't you think that... But he, he, he has a role as speaker. Mm -hmm. When these things get to parliament, certainly he has a role. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then don't you think then he's aware of uh, uh, the lack of trust, especially from the Azmio side? Why then do you think you would propose that if there is any sort of uh, disharmony between these people, then he's, uh, he stands the best... If the Azmio side doesn't trust something? the other side, uh -huh. they don't trust the president, they don't trust the people there, it follows naturally they will not trust Wetangula. Yeah, naturally. And I will not blame them, right? Wetangula has shown that he's not a person to be trusted. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do, do you then think that perhaps his proposal isn't consequential as far as we see It's that not that consequential because as Speaker of the National Assembly, you will have a central role to play mm -hmm. in this process. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But to say he can be a mediator beyond the, 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 the role of Speaker, mm -hmm. Is a big joke. So what role will he play here? As now, a speaker. Now that you've said that yes. he is not neutral at all. Certainly. I'm not saying. Uh -huh. It's obvious. Uh -huh. Yeah. So in case he comes into mediate, definitely these are He cannot do here. anything beyond the role of a speaker. Uh -huh. Which is? But this thing will go to parliament at some point and parliament has a role. Uh -huh. Even this, uh, this team has to be established perhaps in parliament. Uh -huh. So he'll be, he'll be chairing. He'll be the speaker. And whatever bills they come up with, constitutional amendment, they will have to be processed by the House Business Committee. He's the chairman. Mm -hmm. When they go to the plenary, he's the speaker. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that role he has to play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If there is need to finance some of these operations, he has to okay the, 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 the parliamentary uh, budget to be, uh, to be used, mm -hmm. uh, resources to be used in that. So he's... He, be, what I'm saying is he has a big role as speaker to play. Mm -hmm. What I don't see happening is Moses Masika Wetangula pretending to be a mediator because that cannot work. Mm -hmm. Because no, the other side can't trust him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You we're talking of the other side can't trust him, but we are yet to see whether he'll actually um, come in hand in terms of resolving that kind of stalemate that is still there. In we wonder whether those issues that were uh, raised by Azimio will be actually conversed in these kind of talks. Of course, I've heard the other side say that um, they'll only talk about the reconstitution of the IBC and the president is uh, slowly doing all he can to ensure that the issue of the cost of living is not addressed because uh, uh, that is uh, bringing a lot of issues here. <laughs> don't, you think, don't you then think that perhaps, um, owing to the fact that all these issues are here, don't you think that perhaps the president is playing his card right by f uh, kind of trying to focus on the price of unga and... Uh, the president uh, is uh, right. <laughs> And his side is right. Is their right? Their, you know, it's okay for them to say the issues you have raised are five. Mm -hmm. We can only pay attention to one. IBC. That's how negotiations are done. Mm -hmm. What they can't do is to stop Azimio from tabling those issues. Mm -hmm. Let them table the issues. Show, uh, show Azimio these are not tenable. Mm -hmm. That's how negotiations are done. So they are perfect in order. Mm -hmm. You are perfectly in order to knock steam out of your opponent's sail mm -hmm. by, by removing the issue of cost of living on the table. Mm -hmm. So there is no longer an issue. 
by doing something about the price of electricity. Has it been done oh, so yeah. far? Are you convinced that... I'm uh, saying... <laughs> no, you are saying he has started. Yeah, we've so seen the price of... He's perfectly well. in order to do that. Uh -huh. So that you... You render Raila important in that, in that, in that respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the cost of living is an important tool Raila has. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you make it something you can't talk about mm -hmm. by lowering the cost of living. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. normal. And it will be to the benefit of the people of Kenya. Mm -hmm. If Unga becomes 90 shillings, everybody will be happy. If diesel retails us 120 at 130, mm -hmm. everybody will be happy. Mm -hmm. We will all be happy. Yeah. Mm. Why do you think that, that? Why do you then, then think that perhaps it took a while for us to witness some of these changes? Of course, uh, the price of unga has been at two hundred and thirty for quite a while. Why is it then? Do you think that it took a while for the president to act on this? But you know, leaders never listen until they are pushed. Those <laughs> mandamanos have served their purpose. You know That's that? why the, 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 the person has woken up from his slumber, <laughs> knowing that things are not as good as he thought. <laughs> Remember the reason why also these things have not been able to, to be sorted out. <laughs> there are outside forces that are uh, directing government on what to do and how to do it. Uh, issues of subsidies and <laughs> so on and so forth. <laughs> this, is, this, this, this is an invisible a hand, actually it's visible from outside. Yeah. <laughs> but now when things get to where they are getting, then you get to do something. Okay, yeah. so we've seen the president come in. Uh, I wonder how, uh, whether he'll be able to um, try and uh, kind of uh, remove the issue of the cost of living from all these azimuthals because that is actually what is endearing uh, a certain group of people, or rather uh, endearing uh, the azimio side to a certain group of people in this country, those who believe that the cost of living is unbearable and therefore that could form the basis upon which people would go back to the streets. But now here we are, we are still waiting for Thursday. They said that that is the time that we'll have the very first official meeting of uh, the uh, parliamentary group that is supposed to be uh, heading that bipartisan yes. talk. But here we are so far so good. You've seen what is taking place, how the president has been talking, how those from the Azimio side have been talking. You at one time alluded to the fact that there is lack of goodwill from, uh, the, Azim uh, from the, the government side. You've also said that the manner in which uh, some members of uh, the opposition are talking does not actually show that sort of goodwill. What do you see from here right now? How things are? We've just two days to go, uh, three days, two days to go, uh, so that we can have. We don't have time to waste. Mm -hmm. These people should meet and agree on the basics, <laughs> ground rules. They say <laughs> they should have a clear timetable that within a specific period of time they must have covered so much mm -hmm. with the clear milestones with the clear uh, the word is lost in other words with a checklist mm -hmm. that after a week we should have done this and we have a checklist so that within 30 days one month two months whatever time they agree on mm -hmm. they should be able to achieve what they have agreed on mm -hmm. to achieve doesn't mean they have agreed on everything no mm -hmm. but to resolve the issue whether we shall open the server or not, but it should have been that issue should have been addressed mm -hmm. within the specified time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the parameters of engaging on, on each of these things mm -hmm. must be established within latest, according to me, within one week, mm -hmm. so that we begin the countdown. Yeah. These gentlemen have decided to talk and uh, actually sit on a table, and they are, we are definitely they are not uh, engaging on a one on one talk, but they have their representatives there who are actually engaging those talks. Before okay, now between now and then, before we now officially have these talks, do you think that it would be prudent or not for the president, or rather the uh, Azimio side leadership led by Honorable Raila Molodinga, to respond to each other in public forums that they have been doing? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Let's wait until this team has met <laughs> on Thursday. <laughs> then we'll be able to to see whether they are making progress. Because certainly if they are not making pro progress, mm -hmm. it will be inevitable that the principles meet. Mm -hmm. yeah, in what about these roadside uh, statements that are made by the president, the leader? That must be resolved on this Thursday. Uh -huh. From that meeting, I hope Otiende Amolo and the other man whose name I can't remember, mm -hmm. Senator Uzito Nyeri or whatever, very difficult name, Maragur Mama something. 
That is the essential of Meru. Yeah, uh -huh. it's Meru, eh? Yeah, yeah. I think what they should do, he should come up with a categorical statement <laughs> about this. In terms of, what does this fire mean? Those are the basics they must come up with. What does this is fire mean? What can and what can be said? What can and what cannot be done? Mm -hmm. By who? And effectively, I would think they should stop Raila Odinga and William Ruto from speaking anyhow on these issues. Mm -hmm. Whatever communication they must agree should come from a particular source. Mm -hmm. Whether it be within the leadership of the committee, or if they think the committee will not talk to the public, instead they will go back to their principles. Mm -hmm. And if there are principles who will talk, they must have that kind of structure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, let's wait and see what will actually take place this Thursday as we wait for the very first official meeting of the uh, parliamentary group that is supposed to be conducting the bipartisan talks between Azimio and Kenya Kwanza. Ladies and gentlemen, do not fail to subscribe to our channel here in case you're watching us for the first time and do not fail to tune in to some of our programs that will be coming in here because you know we've had, uh, we have Jadel Kabira and Richard Mwenje also as part of this group. Till we have this conversation again, have yourself a lovely day. My name is Evans Okinyi. Okay.